everybody, welcome to the Black Sheep Props channel. I'm Steve and I'm here to teach you the tips, tools, techniques, and materials for building your very own super cool EVA foam props. Now in our last episode, making an EVA foam Samurai Helmet Part 1, you saw us get the whole cap done. Uh, we got the stripping down, all the details on the front, and it was totally easy. Um, and now in this episode, making an EVA foam Samurai Helmet Part 2, we're going to finish the whole helmet. We're going to get the flare things done, we're going to get all the spikes put on the top, and we're going to do this whole back kind of Darth Vader-like skirt. Um, I guess that's to keep your head from getting cut off. Um, protecting your neck, I guess. Um, Alright, so, and we're going to seal it and we're going to paint it. And we're doing this super simple paint job, as you can tell, all black with gold accents. Now this thing is totally ripe for you to do any crazy color scheme you want because there's a lot of different ones, a lot of different ways to do it, but we chose really simple and basic. You can do whatever you want. Um, Alright, so if you're ready to hit it, let's make something. Alright, and we've got this three millimeter piece of foam. We're going to do these two details for the front of the helmet. And uh, what we're going to do is we're going to wood burn these. So we drew out our marks. We're going to just like that. All right, there's both of them. Now what we're going to do is we're going to come in with a little bit of super glue and I'll show you what we're going to put there. Ooh, look at that. Nice. There's two little plugs that we saved from build that we did before. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to take these, we're going to dip them in the super glue and we're going to center them right in the middle like that. Okay, now what we've got is these little itty bitty ones that are, were leftovers from when we used the hole puncher. Alright, so we're going to get the bottom of that wet. Now we're going to come in with our X-Acto knife. Really simple. Alright, let's cut the other one out. Alright, now we're going to take this little rivet. Now again, we're using a lot of rivets that were left over, but if you don't have leftover rivets, just get out your brass tube and poke a couple out. All right, we're going to center this right in the middle of our center line right there. Cool details that we just made. And we're going to put those rivets, get those wet, and we're going to put it in. There we go. All right, here we go. Here's an 18 millimeter piece of foam. That's three quarters of an inch. This is really, really easy. So we're going to come in. All right, here we go. Now we're going to show you how to do one. All right, we're going to cut through. We're going to mark the center point. Let's spin it around. Here we go. Like that. Now we're going to go back from this point to that point. All right, so let's do the same thing. Let's spin it around so we can come at it. All right, there we go. Now we've got a triangle. Now what we're going to do is we're going to roll it over sideways. And we're going to mark our center point on this side, which is right there. All right, so now we're going to go from this point to that corner. Just like that. Now we're going to go from this point we just went to, to this corner. All right. It's a spike. Simple. You just do your cuts, roll it over, do your cuts, and you've got a spike. All right. All right, there we go. There's all 15. We're going to... there and really push it down because we want great contact on that is crazy all right here we go we're going to come in with our flares that that curl up off the side of the helmet and uh, we've got three millimeter foam here we've got our patterns drawn out we're 
All right, there we go, just like that. All right, there's all four of our windows cut out. All right, just like that. All right, now this is what we talked about earlier also about the designs on here. There's a lot of different designs when you look at the pictures. We're going to do some circles and squares because a lot of the pictures we looked at had those two details, circles and squares. So we're going to... Okay, next we're going to start to do all the details on these pieces right here. And if you notice, magically, look at how clean our cutting mat is because we slipped a new one in. So every once in a while, your cutting mat's going to get so funky and cut up and uh, you're going to have to replace it because uh, when it gets really cut up and chopped up, you start to break X-Acto blades easier and uh, you get little pieces of super glue and dried contact cement even though you try not to and eventually, ah, you got to clean it up. All right, so we've got our two different builds here. We're going to be overlapping it like so and we're going to be putting little details on both of these, okay? So we're going to start doing that. Really easy stuff. We've got some six millimeter and we've got some two millimeter. We're going to be doing two of these designs, putting them on here, and we're going to be doing a lot of circles and squares, all right? So this is going to be really easy stuff. We're going to start right here with our six millimeter. All right, now we're going to do these little tiny squares. We're going to cut a bunch of them out, okay? So we have our little dots on here all marked out so we can have plenty of them done, all right? All right, there we go. We got a bunch of squares. Now we're going to come in with our six millimeter again. We have our sharpened brass tube and we're going to poke out a bunch of circles as well. So we're going to roll right through there we go. <clears throat> All right, look at that. Those are beautiful. We're just going to keep going. Okay, there we go. We've got both of our sets of squares and circles done. All right. Get the bottom wet. And it's that easy, man. That's it. Get our bottom wet. Center it right over the square, but line it up with that line we drew. Just like that. That's it. And just take your time. Go through. All right, there it is. That easy. Cut. All right, now we're going to begin coming in and doing the details on this thing, which means we're going to be coming in and doing two of these little logos like we did on the front of the helmet right here, but smaller. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to do all this on two millimeter foam. We're just going to cut all of our pieces out like we did on the big one, stick them all together. All right, there we go, two logos. Now we're gonna come in, we're gonna get our dust mask on, and we're gonna bring our Dremel in, and we're gonna round the edges of this off. All right, there we go, we soften the edge up. Now let's seal it. looking good. Like we said before, we're kind of making up the designs. We're copying some from photos and we're making some up. Um, so we're going to put a little two millimeter rivet right here and then we're going to take some more of these six millimeter squares and line them up right across there like that. So we're gonna... All right, there we go. We've got all of our pieces cut out. Now what we're going to be doing is this, is we're going to be sticking this over the top of this piece like that. So what we're going to do is we took another piece of foam, the same height as this rim right here, and we're going to attach it just like that. So we've got a nice big surface to stick this to. Now in reality, what we could have done is we could have drawn our template that way. So when we cut this frame out, we could have cut it shorter, like right here. So you can do that. When you build yours, you can cut your opening just a little bit smaller so you already have this in place. But we didn't realize it till after, so you can just cut an extra strip. So we're going to glue this strip down and then we're gonna be able to glue this over the top of it just like that. All right, now before we do that though, we're gonna come in with our 
Dremel and we're going to soften all the edges of all of these frames so they're not square. All right, so dust mask, Dremel, grind. All right, there we go. We've got softened edges around all of the pieces and we didn't soften this top edge because that's going to be covered. All right. A bead of super glue right down that space right there. Put this in place. All right, there we go. Here and here. Now we're ready to stick these to those. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to line up the outside of the underneath piece with the inside of that frame, just so there's a slight overhang like that on both sides. All right, there we go. A lot of details, but super easy. I mean super easy. All right now we've got a lot of raw foam here, so we're gonna get our heat gun out. We're gonna seal it real fast. All right, there we go. Foam tightened up. Really nice details, wow. Okay, we're gonna begin the bottom pieces that wrap around the bottom of the helmet, that big fanned out piece that goes around the back with several different layers. There's gonna be four layers. Now before we cut those out and start dealing with those, we're going to create, like we've been doing, a bunch of circles and a bunch of squares to go around. We're going to go twice this size. So these were a quarter inch, we're going to go to half inch. All right, so what we did was we marked out our grid. Really? All right. All right, and now the other detail is circles. So we're going to pop out a bunch of circles using our brass tube. All right, there's our squares and our circles that we just popped out with our brass tube. And we made our measurements, so these are spaced apart equally. We're just going to use a puddle of super glue. We're going to dip each one in and stick them down. All right, there we go. We've got all of our pieces stuck down. Now we're going to be cutting these out, all right? Now and we're going to separate right through the middle. Really cool. All right, now we've got another awesome detail. All right, here we go. Look at this. This is a, what is this? This is a four, probably four. This is a four millimeter EVA foam dowel. All right. Now what we're going to do is this. All right, we're going to come in. We're going to start here at the end, cutting right through the middle of it. You just got to steer it right through the middle of the dowel. Now we have this cool little half round, all right? And the reason we did that is for this. We're going to come in and we're going to stick this down and we're going to bend it around the corner and we're going to lay it down and get that nice rounded over detail around the edge, all right? All right, this is a little bit tough to handle because it's really stringy, but it was that easy. You saw what we did. We just laid it down, coated it. All right, we're going to hang it over here over a, over a shelf over here so that it's got time to dry. We're going to follow our edge around. All right, and when we get here to the corner, we're going to just bend it a little bit as we go around the corner, stick it down just like that. Look at that, man, that is nice. Right now we're just going to continue all the way around our piece, just laying it down. We're lining it up flush around the edge. Look at nice and careful, flush with the edge. And we're just going to go all the way around. All right, now what we're going to do is we're going to come and get our next piece, line it right up with the edge of that strip right there. All right, and then just keep going. That's it right there. All right, nice, there you go, completely done. We've got our squares, 
our circles. We've got our little piece of EVA foam piping around the edge there. Really cool detail. All right. All right, there we go. There's our three of our four bands done. We haven't done the final one yet. We're going to save that one for last because there's a special cut we have to do on that one. And as you can tell, we drew our guideline for exactly where each one is going to overlap the next one so we know where to glue. All right, so what we're going to do is we have to put these half rounds on these pieces. But what we're going to do first is we're going to connect these two together like that. And then we're going to come in and put the piping around here so we don't have to go all the way around this bottom side. All right, so we're going to glue this first. There we go. Perfect. Look at that. Wow, that's going to be really cool. All right. Now let's attach this one. Sweet, look at that. Wow, that is really cool. All right. Okay. All right, now we're going to come in and we're going to put our little foam dowel on here. So what we're going to need to do is we're going to need to make some custom kind of cuts here. So we're going to take a little bit of an angle off of this end here. All right, there we go. Wow. Uh, really easy. Kind of a lot of work. But it's not hard work, it's just a lot. Okay, now what we did was we threw on a tiny little detail here. We took these little tiny pieces of two millimeter foam, we cut out some tiny little squares, and we're gonna. All right, there we go. That is nice, super easy. All right. All right, here's our final strip. Now we're gonna do something a little bit special with this one, so we're doing it separately. And we're gonna make this a little bit thicker. Right now our bands are all six millimeter. We want this to be just a tad thicker. So we're gonna bulk up two four millimeter pieces. So this is gonna be an eight millimeter piece, all right? Stick it right on like that. Real. All right, there we go. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to make this cut, but this edge is going to go right up to the bottom of this helmet right here, all right? And we don't want this skirt to hang straight down. We want it to flare out. So in order to have it flare out, this cut can't be at a 90 degree cut. It has to be slightly beveled. So as long as we tip our knife on a bevel, when we stick it on the helmet, it'll naturally flare it out. With the blade on an angle. Right out the side. All right, there we go. Now, see what we did? We cut a beveled edge on here. So now when we roll this up and stick it to the helmet, this is gonna cause the back end to flare out. All right, now we're gonna cut a slight angle at the end, just like we did before, so that this lines up over here on the edge. Just gonna lay it down at the edge of the bevel. All right, there we go. Perfect. We've got almost all the way to this seam right here. Almost, but not quite. All right, so we're gonna glue that. All the way around the bottom of the helmet. And we've got our cement right here along the bevel. Give it a couple minutes. All right, we're gonna come in and we're going to set our helmet right there. 
so we know we're anchored in the center point. All right, now let's get this out of the way. Now we're gonna take this side here and we're going to roll it down and we're gonna line it up with our edge all the way around. Okay, we're rolling it and we are rolling it and we are rolling it and there we go all right we made contact all the way around now we have to come in and get some really strong contact at every piece of the way like this You got to channel your inner Peter Parker, man, with your fingers being nimble and spider-like. All right, there it is right there. See how it doesn't go straight down? It fans out. We achieved that by our curved strips and by the bevel cut right around here. It's that bevel cut around the back, around the top of our skirt there, that causes it to flare out. See that flare there on both sides? All right, now what we did was we needed to figure out the, the diameter of the curve we wanted and we found it in our contact cement can. All right, that is the perfect angle that we want it to curve. All right, so we used that and we traced our shape out right here. All right, cut right through. All right, now because we want these angles perfect, we're gonna cut these out on the scroll saw real quick. All right, here we go. We're going to stick it down. There we go. All right. There. All right. All right, we've got our two insides of our helmet and our two flaps line this up with where we glued and we are going to stick it down back good grief that is something else all right there we go super easy we coated it with several coats of black plasti dip now we didn't spray inside here we're just going to leave it raw foam now, we didn't do any of the inside of this, okay? You can totally follow all the same steps we did and you can add details around the inside of here like a lot of real samurai helmets have. Um, and that's easy to do. So if you wanna do that, you can go ahead and jump in there and start putting all those same square and circle details around the inside of here so you can see it when you're wearing it. But uh, we didn't, we just did the outside and uh, sealed it, looking good. Nice, even coats. Fantastic. All right, let's let it set up and dry, and then we'll paint it. All right, we're out at the spray stand. We're going to begin spraying our samurai helmet with our flat black. Now we've talked about this already a little bit that there is several different color schemes that you see when you're looking up pictures of samurai helmets. Um, we're going to go with the super simple black with gold details. All right, we're going to bring in our 14 karat gold.
That's one coat of the gold. When it dry. All right, there we go. That easy. Just a couple simple gold details. That's all we're doing. All black with some slight gold details. All right, that's it. We got a second coat on there. Not the best, but it's not the worst. All right, there you go. Simple. With those uh, two coats of gold, that brings our samurai helmet build to a close. Really cool, man. Look at this thing. Good grief, is that cool. We did this whole big elaborate skirt thing with our details on here, and we did our cool flares and all of our spikes. Really easy to do the spikes. And, uh, and don't forget, you can go crazy on the inside, too, because you're going to be able to see the inside while you're wearing it. So if you want to take whatever details you're doing on here and replicate them on the inside, that's cool, too. Uh, and paint it however you want it, but you saw how easy we chose to do just gold accents and that's about it. Um, it turned out great, man. This thing is super cool. Uh, so, what can I say, man? This thing was crazy awesome and fun and check it out. Woo! Yeah! All right, so that concludes Making an EVA Foam Samurai Helmet Part 2. Hope you liked it. Uh, if you did, give us a like, share us with a friend, and subscribe to this channel. And together we're going to go step by step through a lot more super cool builds so that you get the props you deserve. Thanks for coming. See you next time.